we will discuss two problems in evaporation evaporation without crystallization and there are two simple problems uh, very small problems here first problem a single effect evaporated is fed with 10000 kg per hour of weak liquor weak liquor means dilute solution containing 15% caustic soda that is a new h by weight and is concentrated to 40% NaOH that is understood by weight. Calculate kg per hour of water evaporated and B weight kg per hour of thick liquor. Okay. This problem after working out we will work out this small problem. So first problem here, right? An evaporator box here. Evaporator feed is entering to this evaporator. Feed is entering. What is the feed here? NaOH feed. First feed you write, and we already discussed in the previous class. Feed we are representing by F. So, this feed contains two components. One is the solute, the other is the solvent. And what is the solute here? NaOH in this problem. What is solvent? Water. Okay. And here, water is removed. Water is removed. Water is indicated by W, WKG and product is obtained product solution and this also again it contains two components NaOH and water and uh, what is the percentage is here uh, initially 15% caustic soda we have that is 15% and it is concentrated to 40% okay so this is 15%, this is 40%. That means what is the rest here? 100 minus 15, that is 85% water. And here 60% water. This is the information given. Then calculate uh, and also one more information. Single effect evaporator is fed with 10,000 kg per hour of weak liquor. Weak liquor. Fed is equal to nothing but feed. This is nothing but feed solution. This is nothing but feed solution F. 10,000 kg per hour. This I already taught you. F means sometimes depending on the information given, we take as weight or mass flow rate. Anything, no problem. So, F is... 10,000 kg per hour. This is the information given. Then A bit is a mass flow rate only. Kg per hour of water evaporated. A bit is kg per hour of water evaporated. What is this? Kg per hour of water evaporated. This is nothing but water evaporated is W. Okay. Is equal to how much? B bit kg per hour of thick liquor kg per hour of thick liquor obtained thick liquor obtained is what this is thick liquor obtained that is let it be p okay this is f w p so this is a p how much this is the question so, shall we write the material balance here? So, overall balance, overall balance is equal to, what is the overall balance? F equal to W plus P. F equal to 
W plus P. We don't know how much is W, how much is P. They are only uh, the questions. Therefore, W plus P is equal to, we know F. This is F. That is 10,000. Let it be equation 1. Okay? We want to calculate W and P. We have one equation. That means if you have another equation, we can solve these two equations simultaneously to get individual values of W and P. So, another equation, how do you get? You can write either uh, solute balance or solvent balance. But solute balance is simple because solute is present in only two streams, feed and products. That is more simple. And solvent, that is water balance, if you want to write, you need to consider all the three streams. So, shall we write uh, solute balance? Solute, that is here on your OH. Solute balance. So, uh, solute in solute in F is equal to solute in P. That means Fxf equal to P xp. That is a solute balance. So that we will write. We don't know F uh, P. So but we know Xf and xp. What is Xf and xp? We will write. That is a given information. So weight fraction of solute. Weight fraction of solute that is in your OH in feed is equal to XF that is equal to how much 0 0.15. Okay, then weight fraction of solute that is in your OH in the product that is equal to xp so xp is 0 0.4 therefore now what is the uh, let it be equation 2 okay so from 2 from 2 what you can substitute f is 1000 into xf is 0 0.15 and P we don't know P into XP is 0 0.4 from this P is equal to 3750 since we are taking the F as kg per hour this also kg per hour ok so, thus we got P. Next, what we want? W. So, from equation 1, you can write. From equation 1, uh, F is equal to W plus P. So, W is equal to F minus P. F, F is 10,000 minus 3750. That is 6250. Kg per W is 6 to 5 0 kg per hour. Thus we got this is weight of conclusion is weight of thick thick solution weight of thick solution and weight of water evaporated. This is P and this is a W. 3750 kg per hour. And this is 
नेक्स्ट सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम वॉट इज द सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम ऑल्सो वेरी सिंपल प्रॉब्लम इन ए टेक्सटाइल मिल ए डबल इफेक्ट एवाबरेटर सिस्टम कॉन्सेंट्रेट्स वीक लिक्कर कंटेनिंग फोर पर्सेंट वेट कास्टिक सोडा टू प्रोड्यूस ट्वेंटी फाइव पर्सेंट सॉलिड्स कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड सोल्यूशन कंटेनिंग ट्वेंटी फाइव पर्सेंट दट मीन डबल इफेक्ट एवाबरेटर or triple whatever it is that information we don't want we it is not required but what we need is what is the feed solution what is its uh, concentration uh, and what is the concentration of the product solution so what is the uh, first shall we draw the block diagram this is evaporator evaporator and feed solution is entering w water is evaporated and the product p is obtained okay then xf is the weight fraction of solute in the feed and xp is the weight fraction of solute in the product so what information is given is weak liquor containing caustic soda only here also so weight fraction here xf is here uh, nuh is 4% it is increased from 4% to 25% here nuh is 25% and calculate the evaporation of water per 100 kg of feed in the evaporator so feed solution is given f is 100 kg and the question is what amount of evaporation of water this is how much that is the question okay so uh, feed solution okay it's a weight only you can write feed solution let it be fkg now weight fraction of naoh in feed is equal to xf is equal to 0.4% it is that means 0.04 okay 40% is 0.4 uh, because usually students make mistakes 4% immediately after that they write 0.4 so it is 0.04 then weight fraction of naoh in a product that is xp this is equal to 0.25 okay so like this it is given let weight of water evaporated let weight of water evaporated is wkg let weight of product solution formed remaining is pkg okay this is the information so shall we write the overall balance overall balance is f is equal to w plus p and this feed solution is given as 100 kg okay so w plus p is equal to 100 let it be equation 1 then solute balance solute balance that is any oh balance any oh solute is your any oh balance that is f x f equal to p x p that is equation 2 okay after writing numbers we will give the name 2 then what is f here 100 into 0.04 is equal to p we don't know p but we know what is xp 0.25 okay this is equation 2 only then from this we are getting directly p so what is the p value is say 
16 kg 16 kg since this is uh, okay this is not kg per hour it is given kg so we will leave it as a kg but what is the question is w weight of water evaporated w therefore from overall balance from equation 1 from equation 1 w is equal to f minus p f is 100 and p is 16 therefore that is 84 kg therefore weight of water evaporated is equal to 84 kg that is the answer okay so thus we learned how to write the material balance equation for in unit operation evaporation and evaporation without crystallization here if crystallization is there one more stream will come it only we have only evaporation without crystallization in your syllabus so uh, this is the problem so by writing this we can find out what amount of water is evaporated what amount of product is formed etc thank you